Dave's already attached the LiftMate attachment to the nose of the Highlift Extreme Jack. The LiftMate has rubber-coated hooks that go into the uh, spokes of a wheel. That's great when you're stuck because you're lifting the wheel up directly. If you need to use the LiftMate if you have a flat tire. You can use a jack stand. Once you jack it up, put a jack stand under the frame, then you can lower the jack back down, remove the wheel and tire, replace it, and reverse the process. Many trucks and SUVs have larger tires and or lift kits that require extensive lifting height ability from the bumper jack. The lift mate is designed to operate in a manner that allows the vehicle to be lifted directly from the wheel, greatly reducing the amount of travel up the jack bar needed to lift the wheel to an adequate and safe height. The LiftMate is also the quickest way to lift a vehicle that is high centered on rocks or logs. By lifting the appropriate tire off the ground enough to free the chassis or axle housing from the obstacle, you can then place rocks, boards, or a bridge ladder under the tire so that when the jack is lowered, the obstacle is cleared and the vehicle can be driven away. Use the LiftMate and a jack stand to change a flat tire if you have no other jacking point available. Raise the tire with the LiftMate attachment, place a jack stand under the axle housing or frame, lower the jack, change the tire and wheel, then use the jack with the LiftMate to remove the jack stand. The LiftMate is designed to provide a lift point on most vehicles for quick and easy lifting. When used with a high lift jack, the LiftMate makes raising one wheel of most average size vehicles an easy task. The LiftMate has a 5,000 pound capacity and can be used on most spoked, slotted, or wheels with voids and holes that can accommodate the LiftMate hooks. The high lift jack and LiftMate will not stabilize the load. You must chalk and block the vehicle to prevent it from moving or falling. Never get under a raised vehicle without properly chalking and supporting the load. If a raised vehicle falls, it can cause serious injury or death. Never use the LiftMate to raise the entire front or rear of a vehicle. The LiftMate is designed for raising one wheel only of an average auto SUV or pickup truck. Never attempt to lift more than one wheel at a time. Do not raise an inflated tire more than two inches above the ground. Slide the LiftMate attachment bracket over the lifting nose of the high lift jack with the LiftMate hooks facing away from the high lift jack. Secure the LiftMate attachment bracket to the high lift jack lifting nose with the supplied bolt and nut. Place the LiftMate hooks through two voids, one on each side of the wheel hub, in the wheel to be lifted. Make certain to place the hooks in holes or voids as low on the wheel as possible and as parallel to each other as possible. Be sure the hooks are securely engaged in the wheel before attempting to lift. The rubber protected LiftMate attachment bracket should rest against as much of the wheel as possible. Begin the lifting process following the high lift jack instructions on the lifting video segment. Once the wheel is lifted off the ground, the wheel may rotate slightly. Before continuing the lifting process, be assured that the high lift jack upright steel bar is still in the full straight and upright position. If the high lift jack upright steel bar or standard has shifted and is leaning either toward the left or right, the high lift must be repositioned. Lower the vehicle, reposition the high lift jack in the full upright position, and relift the load per the instructions. When using the lift mate to lift one wheel for wheel or tire maintenance, the vehicle wheels must be chalked prior to lifting the load. Lift and block or use a jack stand under the vehicle high enough to accommodate a fully inflated tire. Once lifted, the load must be blocked before removing the high lift jack and lift mate from the vehicle's wheel for the wheel or tire maintenance to take place. Once chalked, lifted, and blocked, the high lift and lift mate must be removed from the tire and wheel. Perform the necessary wheel or tire maintenance. Once completed, reattach the high lift and the lift mate to the wheel and lower the wheel using safe high lift operating techniques. Okay, Dave, go ahead and set the, the jack in the uh, off-road base. Now the off-road base doesn't necessarily help stability, but it does help keep from sinking in. Now we've got hard ground here, so it's not a big deal, but it's, uh, it's nice and it raises the, uh, the base of the jack a little bit, but it's really great on soft surfaces. You want to hook the LiftMate hooks as low on the wheel as you can. So we're going to try to hook this into the two lowest spokes here. Okay, Dave, if you'd start jacking. 
get a little load on this. Now the part of the lift mate that goes onto the nose of the jack actually has a rubber pad. It's best if that can go against the wheel rim because it's stronger that way. But sometimes it's not possible based on the shape of the wheel and, and the way it lines up. No, we're actually get more against the wheel rim than anything else. Okay, that's good. So that's how it works. The, the great advantage to the lift mate is it allows you to get the tire off the ground more quickly. So if you're high centered, it's picking up the whole vehicle, not the chassis, which leaves the axle housing to droop. So for getting unstuck, if you're high centered, this is a much quicker way to do it. Again, like I said earlier, if you have to change a tire, you can lift with the lift mate, use a jack stand, and then lower it back down to take the rear tire off.